Hi there, this is David Bussey of Rooster Mitsubishi. Today we're going to take a look at a Chevy Traverse. So here's a 2012 Chevrolet Traverse. Let's pop open the hood right away and take a look underneath. So here we've got the Chevrolet 3.6 liter VVT direct injection six cylinder engine. Let's see. So you're going to have a lot of power from this engine, especially given the compact body with a lot of room inside. So you've got a lot of room to store a lot of people, plenty of luggage, but it doesn't take up much room on the outside. So let's take a look on the inside. So right away you can see you've got the premium cloth. Uh, this is the LT trim, so you do have that premium cloth, and the driver's seat is all power, if, including that lumbar support there. Of course, on the door here, we've got our power windows, our power mirrors, and our power lock controls right there on the door. And stepping inside real quick, we've got our controls over our automatic headlights, and of course the dome dome light controls as well as the uh, controls for our uh, instruments and our gauges right in front of us. And I'm just going to flip those on real quick so you can see a quick example. And we've got on the steering wheel, we've got there our cruise control buttons as well as on the right we have our controls over our audio including uh, buttons in the back at our fingertips for the volume control. Now up here on the dash, of course, we have this little storage area. Really handy for tossing sunglasses or your wallet. Small little things. And then, of course, in the center console here, we've got the uh, radio with your AM, FM player, your uh, single disc CD player, and of course your auxiliary in. As well as your uh, climate controls right there. And right here is the controls for all the information that's displaying in front of you uh, with your gauges there. Now down below, we do also have controls over the rear windshield wiper and the spritzer, as well, of course, as our uh, anti-slip control. And we've got here just a little 12-volt outlet. Now down in the middle here, we've got our cup holders, and then right next to that is our shifter. And our shifter not only has the standard, you know, reverse neutral drive and low gear, but you can also change the gears with those with that plus and minus button right there you can set the gears to where you like. Now one of the lovely things about the Traverse is this armrest right here. So right now this armrest is all the way forward so it's as forward as you can get as close to the cup holders as you can get. Now if we just pull this part up here and slide all the way back there. So it's an extremely adjustable armrest. You've got a lot of storage space right down here as well as another 12 volt charger of course. And pushing this little button here, we also have access to a small little storage spot there in the armrest as well. So let's take a look in the back seat real quick. Now here in the back seat of course we've got a lot of room in this Traverse. Again with the premium cloth in back. And you actually do have climate control abilities back here for the rear seats, as well as, of course, another 12-volt charger right there. And one of the one of the things that really makes the Traverse stand out, uh, amongst a lot of other SUVs, is not only can you fold the seat down. Oh, I pulled the wrong thing. So you can fold the seat up. So it's got a third row, right? So if you pull on this, and then pull on this handle, it allows the entire seat to fold up like that. And I can push it all the way forward. And it locks in place there. So now I have easy access to this third row of seats back here. The third row is great because you can have three three-point harnesses back in the third row here giving you great comfort and safety even in this third row and then of course 
the seat's right back to normal as it was. Now let's pop open the rear real quick. So you can see you've got plenty of room back here in the trunk as well. And you can actually lift this part up. And you've got an extra little storage spot right there. Now another thing we can do is these handles here. I can just pull this handle up, give the seat a little push, and it drops right down flat with the back. So you've got a lot more storage room and it does that 40-60 split just like the second row. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pull open this door and I am going to grab a hold of this little tassel right here and you can see now I folded that seat down flat as well. So if we take a look from the back you can see you'd be able to fold both rear, rear rear rows down you have a whole lot more storage room in the back so and one last thing that I really love we've got these lights right up above our head so we can see everything back here even in the dark and of course my favorite these big huge handles makes it super easy to grab the door and swing it shut and then with this center seat clicks right back into this place, headrest pops right up, and they're ready to go. So that was a quick look at this 2012 Traverse. It's great, it's clean, it's comfortable, a lot of room, a lot of power, and that all-wheel drive is going to get you through any winter storm in here in Wisconsin. So why don't you give us a call at Rusty or Mitsubishi Waukesha at 262- 506-3150 or just stop on by anytime on Highway 164. We'd love for you to uh, come on by, work with one of our salespeople, maybe even take it for a test drive, maybe you'd even want to take it home tonight. So thanks so much for watching and you take care. Bye now.